this point, I think we all gotta wonder if Al or Sendo are gonna leave this ring alive. Up, Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Hajime no Ippo Chapter 1307. And man, this fight has gotten extremely brutal. It really, really fucking has. Because, um, let's be real, a couple of chapters ago, we definitely know that um, Al is definitely fucking concussed. He is. And, yeah, Sendo has definitely broken bones in um, one of his fists. For sure. And last chapter, I got a feeling that was when uh, Sendo got concussed. For sure. Um, based on um, the brutal hits to the head. And those spots we saw um, for both Al and Sendo, yeah, I got a feeling they're punch drunk too. Oh my god, this is so fucking brutal. This fight is goddamn brutal. Holy shit. This has to be one of the most brutal fights I think we've ever seen in Hajime no Ippo. And I gotta give props to Morikawa for this art. This art is just so amazing. Like, you can really feel the punches coming off this, off the page, which is freaking amazing. And also, it's just, like, painful. Holy shit. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what Morikawa has in store for us this week. Well, right off the bat, holy shit. Like, boom! Like, strand punches to the face. Oh, God, I can feel it coming off the page. Um, explosive exchange, the climax of the decisive battle in Mexico. And chapter 1307 is titled, Ganador. And... Look at Sendo's eyes right there. Yeah, Sendo definitely has a concussion. He is totally, he totally has a fucking concussion. And a third exchange of lefts. Their necks twist so hard it's like they'll fly off. Oh, God. This shit is brutal. The ropes bend. Their knees are buckling. Blood splashes off both fighters' faces. Ooh, they're both reeling from this. Either one might just keel over. Again, I have to question, are they going to make it out of this ring alive? I honestly don't know. Um, Alf is held up by the ropes, and Sendo? He's all the way back to center ring. He's about, uh, he's, he's about to go down. Oh, no, he's not. He stomped down to avoid falling. Sendo, Alf, whoa. Where you at? <laughs> oh my god, he is punch drunk. He is fucking punch drunk. Gotcha. What a sorry sight. I still got more in the tank. Okay, I have to stop for a second because I gotta appreciate this freaking art right here. And I'll explain why in a second. We got this beautiful, beautiful musculature art here. Oh my god, the musculature. I have to appreciate anatomical art. I really, really do. And then... After uh, Sendo says what is, um, I think, is that Sendo or, is that Sendo that says what a sorry sight? Yeah. Or thinking that? Yeah. Sendo says, I, I think that little whistle slash snore came from my cat. Sendo, are you snoring, Keith? You a snoring cat. Silly cat. Um, uh, then we got the, um, the th then we got the vessels. And then it goes, I still got more in the tank, and it's just, oh, oh God, this is gorgeous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta, there's a few reasons why I gotta appreciate this. One, I, oh, if you follow me, if you followed me long enough, you know I gotta appreciate, I appreciate art, and especially anatomical art. Um, and there's a, a good reason behind anatomical art, especially. One, it's really hard to fucking do. Um, second of all, is because... I keep getting mocked by Crunchy, especially by Crunchyroll's Twitter, because they keep showing the shit with Deku uh, versus um, versus the muscle villain from Boku no Hero Academia's anime, and God, that freaking animation for the musculature um, is just so goddamn bad. It is just an embarrassment. It's also an embarrassment to Horikoshi's uh, musculature art in Boku no Hero Academia, because if you've seen the art for that, um, for that villain, it is just so goddamn gorgeous and detailed. It's just like, oh, oh. So every time I see that, it's just like, that is not, that is not musculature. And they're saying this is like the best fight in, anim um, animation wise in Boku no Hero Academia. I was like, I'm like, 
What are you talking about? That that's not my, everyone's and like people are. I've I've seen people. Uh, one of the uh, people from Crunchyroll tweeting like the muscles and all that shit is great. I'm like, what are you talking about? That is not musculature. That is not musculature. That's horrible musculature animation. That's mu or oh, wearing slow shit. Musculature art. That is terrible. That is not how you draw musculature. That's not. Horikoshi drew it so much better. So that's the main reason why I like one of the main reasons why. Well, actually, this is the main reason why I'm being like even more, oh, it, um, like more in awe and like really more appreciative of um, musculature and, uh, well, in this case, veins, um, uh, art today. Because I'm just so fucking tired of that shit. Get, uh, people don't know what fucking great art, uh, musculature art is. Because of fuck, ugh, I fucking hate anime adaptations right now. I, I haven't been. And for those of you that don't know, I have not ever since Brian died. I have not watched any new, um, manga to anime adaptations. I just can't do it. I don't want to. I don't. It's just too depressing for me. I just can't. Give me, give me a really good manga to um, anime adaptation that's beautiful art that's like on par with the manga, and, or fuck, not, um, not even on par. Um, no, or goes beyond the fucking manga's art, and I then we then we'll talk. But anyway, ugh, I'm glad I got that out of my system. Cause, god damn it, it's just bugging me. What a sorry sight. I still got more in the tank. Just hang tight. I'm coming. Uh, hang tight. I'm coming in. Ya. Send no cocks a huge right. The uh, the cannon is ready to fire. Oh my god. I I know. You got... Uh, my mind is in the gutter. I don't know if anyone else's is mind is in the gutter, but mine is. He rushes in. Um, not... Not yet. He was aiming for this. It's the same as with me. A uh, right on the right counter. A cannon to take down a, ca uh, a cannon. If it lands, he'll be knocked out. That's it. Calmly, carefully, courageously, courageously. Use the opponent's strength against him. Making a fist hurt so bad I'm gonna pass out. But still, we gotta do this, eh? Come on, right f Come on, right fist! Oh my god, boy. Come on. I love you, I love you, I love you. I love this fucking panel. Oh my god, I love this panel. This panel makes my life! Oh my god! I have chills all over my spine. Um, uh... Oh, it's worrying so shit. I have chills all over. My spine is like ice. I'm frozen from head to toe. My entire body is telling me this is dangerous. We gotta talk about this right here before I continue. I fucking love this. I love that I can see that Alf's body is saying this. I love that we're seeing it in Alf's, uh, Alf's brain. We're seeing Alf's brain signaling this to the rest of his body. This is so beautiful. Oh my God, this is so cool. Morikawa, keep doing this. And I'm gonna say this right now. Morikawa, please do this in all of the fights from now on. Please, please, please do this in fights from now on. I love this. This is so cool. He exists, uh punches with such one-sided overwhelming for, wait, Morning solution. Here exists uh, uh, punches with such one-sidedly overwhelming force and pressure. Don't run. Don't hide. Stand strong. Fight back. Believe. Believe in your career that's taking you all over the world stage. And the strength of, of uh, the men you've crossed fists with before. In the fists and heart that, uh, that you've polished day after day. I'll strike him down and prove to him what my machismo is. Go! Ooh! Ooh, I felt that one. Ooh. But man, this page, man, is gorge. Holy shit, this is gorge. And also, this the transitions with the sparks from uh, page to page, like with the, but still we gotta do this, eh? And, um, the, and the go. Oh, man, this is fabulous. Holy shit, this is fabulous. And then we got the silence. In all of Arena uh, Mexico. Ooh. And Sendo goes down. 
I've won! Oh, not yet! Zeno comes back up! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Zeno, my boy! Oh my god! Zeno's victory resounds! Holy shit! You had us there for a minute! You had us there for a second there, boy, Kama! Oh my god! Oh my god, I got goosebumps from that shit. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god, okay. Now that this is done. Now that this fight is done, I, do, I can give you my, whole, my thoughts on this whole fight. And what I hope is going to be coming from, from fights from now on. Because Morikawa, I gotta say this. You have raised the bar on yourself, my dude. Holy shit, you have raised the fucking bar. Because this fight has to be one of the best fights I think we've ever seen in Hajime no Ippo. Holy shit, this fight was beautiful. Oh my god. In terms of art, this fight was visually beautiful and brutal. And I loved every second of it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved, especially, like, I would say where it really, really took off for me. And where I started noticing a difference is, um, is around chapter 1305. And this is when we had, uh, this is when Morikawa took a break. Morikawa needed that fucking break. Because as soon as he came back from that one week break, I don't know what the fuck he did. But man, that was a huge difference. Once he came back from that break, holy shit, was this a different fight. Because I'm going to amend my statement. In the beginning, this fight started off really good. And I was, I, I'm not going to lie, I was enjoying it. I did enjoy it. It was great. But when Morikawa came back from uh, that one week break, holy shit, did he take it to a whole new level. It was just Oh my god, it was just so amazing. Holy shit, it was like, it was just gorgeous. But I will say this, uh, prior to the break, where it really started, I think, escalating and crescendoing into something amazing, was when, um, was when both, uh, Al and, um, Sendo truly awakened. When they awakened, and this was like in, I want to say, chapter 1300 and, um... 1304 ish that was when this fight like really started taking off that was fucking amazing but man Morikawa I swear to god if you need to take weeks off to give us what you gave us here in from chapter 1300 I, again 1305 through 1307 holy shit do it do it, do it, do it. It wasn't 1300. I know it wasn't 1304 because that was when we had the fucking tape incident. It was like 1302, 1303-ish when we had the real stuff in this fight go down. But yeah, I would say definitely Morikawa th from 1305 through 1307. This is the type of shit we need in these fights from now on. I want to see the anatomical art that you were giving us here. Um, from now on in these fights, it just was very reminiscent of Kengen. Um, and from the Kengen series. Kengen does that, Kengen does this shit all the time. Um, but you know what I think? I don't think it was just the week off that did it. Um, because around the time that, uh, chapter 1305 came out, uh, and I said it that week uh, when I covered it, uh, was the same time that Murata, um, came out, uh, what, that was, um, uh, or, where so shit, it was around the same time that, uh, One Punch Man chapter 132 came out, and Murata gave us that godly, otherworldly art, and it just makes, again, it just makes me question if what Murata did in One Punch Man chapter 132 is in uh, that otherworldly art, that gorgeousness is in starting to inspire the mangaka to like, to really 
step up their game. I'm just so curious about this. I really am. I don't know if I'm if this is just me coming with a modern conspiracy or what, and me with a tinfoil hat on or what. But I really feel like uh, Murata really inspired the mangaka to step up their fucking game, and that's beautiful if that's true. I love it. I love when we get more great art. And in ter and now, let, now that I got the art stuff out of my system, let me talk about the writing. This writing was freaking fantastic. I loved this writing, especially for Sendo. This was such great writing for him. I loved it so goddamn much. Um, in terms of Ippo, I can't say anything about Ippo until we see the aftermath of this fight. We'll have to wait. But I really, the other thing I gotta say is I really love the exchange that we were getting um, between uh, Ippo, or not Ippo words, holy shit, between Sendo and Al, like inner monologue wise. I thought that was so brilliant. And I loved Al's backstory too. I love that he was like a thug. I thought that shit was great. And that he was only that, like, that Sendo brought out this beast that was hidden within him. I thought that was great as fuck. This was great. I can't wait to see, um, the, oh, I can't wait to see Sendo go up against the champ. That shit is gonna be lit as fuck. It will be. Oh my god. Morikawa, I cannot wait to see what you do with this shit. I cannot fucking wait. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep the channel alive so I can keep bringing you more uh, Hajime no Ippo content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my uh, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.